Hi everyone. Hi guys. Lovely to see you again. It has been a little while, hasn't it, Dan? A little, yeah, just a little. But not a massive while. You know, you've got to be patient with us because we are busy men. Yeah. And we bring you content with love, and we don't do videos every two days like some people. No. We we come to you when we're ready to share something special, and I think today is something pretty special. I think we're ready. Yeah. yeah. Um, a house that we've not talked about for I think a long time, but we have talked about a lot. Oh, we've talked about yeah, we over have, time. A reason to I mean. I was thinking about this, it, you know, in many ways, I think this is, it's because of houses like this that we started doing this. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Do, doing this channel. I mean, I remember- That brave, free-spirited Yeah, I remember like the, the first- Mind. When I first smelt the uh, first, you know, collection now and bought Ottoman Empire, it just kind of blew my mind and I, I opened up a whole kind of new, World of, of perfumery I didn't know existed, and I think was it what was second video or second or third video was on, on Russian oud, um, when when it first came out, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really early on. I can't, I can't quite remember when, but um, super and, early on. And we've uh, yeah, we've done we've done we've done quite a, a, a few videos um, on Arisha Dori fragrances, but this is it's been two years uh, I think since the last kind of collection. There've been yeah. a few kind of like individual releases. Um, and it's been interesting because uh, I've bought a few Arish fragrances recently, and um, some of them we talked about, some of them we haven't. So, but but I've ended up, and some of them I've sold. So yeah. I remember like the Russian Musk um, version two, I bought and sold. Manly, uh, Manly, I that bought one, and we talked it? about, and, and I sold. Uh, Chinese Chinese dude, we haven't talked about that one. But that's one no, I, I, I did. We should talk about that, shouldn't we? I did. Um, I bought and I, I kept. Um, Civet de Nuit, we did mm. talk about. Um, I bought and I kept. Uh, Aquilaria Blossom, we haven't talked about that one. No, I can't even remember if I've smelled that. So I bought that and I and, and, and I sold it. Um, I did actually, I quite, I quite enjoyed it, but it just felt, it's one of those things I feel now the more fragrances I've got, um, it just felt a little bit redundant. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was. I mean, Manly, I I disliked. Russian Musk, I didn't really like that much. Whereas Aquilaria Blossom, I did quite enjoy, but it just it just felt a little bit kind of redundant yeah. in the context of things. And I think, but in a way, that's a great thing, isn't it? That you know, despite it being from the same perfume of the same house, some things you will love with all your heart, some things you won't be bothered about, mm. and it's kind of nice. It feels balanced, and that feels like a right thing to me. Yeah. If we loved everything, I think. Absolutely. Um, that would be a bit worrying. So this is the history of the Atar collection. So I bought some samples here. They are. Da, 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 da. So I mean, I guess in a way we are we are a little bit late to the party with doing this video. But what is quite nice, I think, um, as opposed to our last few videos on the Arige Ladori collections, uh, collections when we've smelt them both together for the first time, I've actually had the samples for a few weeks now, like two two yeah. and a half weeks. Um, hopefully, I will put this video up just before the individual fragrances being become available. But it's been nice that that, that then that he's now releasing the samples. That's really good. The samples <coughs> early, so so people are not having to, to buy buy. They can buy the samples and have and have a month or so. Um, but also for the purposes of this video, this time I've um, worn them. I've worn every fragrance at least twice. And I've got pages and pages and pages of, 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 of notes here. Like a or, book. Yeah, on my wearings. But you're still going to get Joe's um, first impression. So yeah. Joe, so Joe hasn't... But I'm, I'm going to be more cautious this time than I normally am because my first impressions are always are always interesting. But like you've said, and like I know with, with this house, first impression is one thing, but they actually often have a big development. Yep. And so I would say now, take anything I say as being just that, a first impression, nothing more. But I think... I, I, because it, I it's think, interesting, I think there's it's value. not the whole picture. I think, I think there's, there's, there's um, value in, in first impressions. Oh, of course, absolutely. I think, because we're going to see your, your reactions, you've not had time You not had time to think about yeah. it. Yeah, so it'll be what comes to my like or Like yeah. or dislike, and then I will talk a little bit. I've actually gone into like a fair bit of detail about kind of like hour by hour progression for, for, for some of them. Um, a little, uh, just a little bit about kind of like presentation and stuff. So he's stuck with those really great bottles, you know, the ones with the yeah. amazing atomizers. He's kind of settled on. They're very good. Because he went through various collections, kind of changing bottle. But when he did the classic collection for Ottoman Empire, um, 
three, I think it was, and Russian yeah. Musk too. He had those bottles with just the incredible so atomizers, and it's great. He stuck with them. These are all EDP, mm -hmm. which is which is an interesting choice given that he's done some X-ray before. Yeah. What I'm really pleased to see is the prices are very different, and I think yeah. they're very, they, they should, should reflect what's in the bottles. Shouldn't they, they? they should, and they and they definitely do. And there's a big range from seventy-five dollars to three hundred and ninety dollars, a huge range. And I think it will become clear um, why they they are priced um, differently. Um, just last little intro bit of the introduction to say is uh, so this is a kind of a history of attar collection lots of these fragrances are based on Indian attars and for the most part almost the entirety I have no knowledge of the Indian attars on which this is based maybe the first no, one we'll either. talk about the mitted I have a tiny bit of knowledge and experience but the rest of them I have not so I'm I think I kind of if I can speak for you that um we're just judging these as, as, as fragrances. Yeah, this is in their own right today, in this moment. So, let's get cracking, shall we? Where do we so, start? Now, you may notice we're not wearing jackets. Oh, no. <laughs> because we are... Um, Check that. We, we, we're going to go full flesh. My gun's looking pretty good at the moment, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. How are yours? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty not good. Not bad, yeah, not pretty, bad. <laughs> um, so That's we, not what this video um, is about. We, we, we're going to put them on card, but we also mm. want to... I, I, I said to Joe, I think this is one where we need jackets off, sleeves rolled really up, skin. so we can try them on skin. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting my ankle out as well. Just well, if, if, if we may get desperate as it goes on. Um, just repeat, I have, I have tried them on skin a few times, so I've got a bit of experience. Joe... Do you want to... So the first one we're going to do is Le Mitty. Le Mitty. So there is a bit of blurb. Do you want this on skin? Why not go for skin straight away, I, I think? This is the cheapest one. This is the it says on here this is not a perfume. Good, good, good so what, what do we do with it? Yeah, no, but it is, don't worry. It says some very nice things here, which I, I'm not going to read to you necessarily, but... So you've got a bit on the sleeve very good. And a bit here. Okay. So Mitty, I, I, I'll, I'll let you kind of smell, 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 and think. So um, Mitty Attar, it's, it's weird. I know about this because um, Sarah McCartney has recently published some articles about a Mitty Attar which she's had in use. So mm. Mitty Attar is traditionally used this kind of, it's this baked clay, uh, uh, which has been, uh, it's topsoil, which has then been baked and then distilled, and it's sometimes kind of co-distilled with, with, with sandalwood. Um, and it's kind of what, what, how do they describe it here? He describes it as uh, it's 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 a bottled emotion represents the first moments of raindrops hitting the dry clay soil. So petrichor. And I I don't get that. Do you not? I don't get oh, petrichor. What do you get? Tell me what you get. I get a bitter almond and some minerality. I get burnt cedar rainbow doves. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I, 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 I definitely get some seedry, but I definitely get uh, uh, this kind of like dry kind of dustiness. I get almost the feeling of dust more than salt. What I do not get, I don't get petrichor. No. I, I, I don't get, uh, but I do get dry clay. I really get a oh, damp, like damp basement, maybe. Yes, yes. Damp basement, uh, slightly uh, troubling, like yeah, you shouldn't be down but, here. But kind of like, do you not get dustiness, like, or, or old stone, like an old stone building? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess sort of da like damp, concretey thing. But I don't get, I, like, when I think petrichor, I think something that's really in that world, like tank battle of lush. That yeah. you know, I really smell. But it's like not. Them. I mean, today it's like. It, in London at the moment, it's just raining forever. It's just been raining constantly. And um, but this bit is, of rose I, 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 I don't. I don't get. Um, I don't uh, get that. I get this kind of. It just feels intensely dusty, dry. Yeah. Quite austere. Quite. It's um, very austere. I think. Uh, a little bit scary as, uh, mm. as fragrances as fragrances go. Um, I get, but I do it's get, I agree, I get quite a cedary aspect to it. And I don't know if that just comes from the clay and from the soil, but mm. I definitely get this slightly burnt cedar quality. I really get the impression, I've, I've written here, what did I write down? Uh, it doesn't feel like a perfume, like walking to an old room or a temple. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel, you know, as he says, it doesn't feel like a perfume. 
I have to say, on a, on like on a very very first impression, I see what they mean now by saying it's not a perfume. Mm -hmm. As in, to, in my head, it's not something I would ever want to wear, but it is definitely something I would want to smell. Yeah, it's the kind of thing where I would pick up. Yep, I yep. would pick up something that this had been sprayed on. And smell it to put me into a certain place. Yeah, I, I think this is not like like as something to wear. I'm, I'm going out tonight. No, I, I want to. I'm going to Starbucks. Yeah. So I should put <laughs> some mitty on. Um, but it's troubling. I, I really enjoyed it. Mm. I, uh, I found it very moody. Um, and and it, I mean the other thing it to say, it, it felt. I mean, it, it was very um, short lived. It kind of lasted for about an hour and a half to two hours, and then there was very little left after that. So it, it, it is just this kind of it's this kind of this ephemeral olfactory experience. Yeah. It ba I mean, it basically just says, right, come with us on a little journey. We're going to take you to this yeah. place. It's like a little snapshot. And then it's done. Yeah. But I quite like I, I like the fact he's um, he's kind of done that and he's kind of paid homage to this um, kind of traditional attire. There's there's something in there though. Can on you again? There's something in there which does make me think Arish. Mm. I don't know whether it's the the specific raw ingredients that he's using. I, I do I think I do smell mm. that. And I think Arish. But it's 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 quite an arresting kind of especially when it, more so on skin than on card. It's. Um, it's quite. It's quite a, an experience. Do you not think? It is. I. I think. I think it's very interesting. I think it's. It's definitely something that I would say is a piece of fragrance art. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, it, and it is. Yeah. It's not. Again, it's not something I would ever wear as a perfume. More. No. But more and more, I'm steering away from from wearing stuff that is like a, a piece of olfactory art. I know. I love those perfumes, and I will. And mm. I will happily smell them, and I'll appreciate them. Yeah. But to wear them, I, like I'm, my taste is getting a little bit more. This not is, simple necessarily, but it's getting is, a little bit more. But this is more definitely not something you would put on in the morning to go out. No, no. I think if anything, it's the, the thing you would put on when you get back in the evening. Maybe after the shower, you're sitting home, like with a glass of wine and a book or something. Yeah. And you just want to have a, a smell which transports you. Yeah, I think that would work. Okay. I like it. I mean, it. it <laughs> It is troubling. I, do, I, I feel just very unsettled when I smell it. It yeah. reminds me, of, like I remember it when I lived in Cornwall as a little boy for a couple of years, we had a very damp old basement. Mm. And I remember going in there and thinking, oh, I don't think I'm allowed in here because the tools are here and the, the dangerous things. And there's a motorbike of a friend of ours that was there. And it just it had all of these things which I thought were for, were for adults. Mm. Um, and that troubling, that takes me back to that slightly yeah, yeah. troubling Place. And I thought, ah. It is. It's quite unsettling. It's not safe, comforting, is it? No. Should we try something completely different? It's interesting, though. Do you, do you want to go your flesh again, or do you fancy a bit of my flesh? I want your flesh all the way. Right. So, do you, <laughs> do you want to try and spray it on there and on the card? So, do you understand? So, you need to hold the card. I will just sort of get you both in the in yeah. the firing line. So, this is Al Majmua. So this is a modern sheep version of one of the most famous and okay. challenging India tars. Al Majmua captures Ooh. the essence of green, fresh herbal aura and use of iconic Indian ingredients such as rucris. Oh, see that. <laughs> yeah. That's more something I'm going to wear. So this is, I said, I said to Joe when I was talking uh, yeah, uh, um, through these, there, there are several of these fragrances when you first spray them, actually quite a lot of them, where you get a wow factor. And this... I almost, I feel like I've just had an in, endorphin rush. Yeah, totally. Um, um, this is so, uh, oh. this is kind of, and, and the other thing I was saying to Joe, like, you know, we've been talking about lots of other houses and fragrances, and when, sometimes when you come back to these, I read, you feel invigorated, and I think this is one of them. It's very sexy as well. It's very sexy. But do you not feel that we are in quite a classic French territory? Yeah, Absolutely. Um, it feels, I mean, again, I, I don't know, I, I have no knowledge of the attire he's referencing, but this feels like classic French. It feels like an x-ray, doesn't it? It feels big, big. It does. It's very chewy. It's, it's really substantial. Um, there's, and it just feels like a sheep. There's a kind of, there's a bergamotty top. But it's, it's like, it's like somehow animalically fresh. Yes, I know you mean. There, there, there's a kind of there's a an energetic kind of green freshness. But there's, a, there's, there's a funk to it. There's, isn't there? there's, there's, a, there's a depth and kind of slight funk, and I get already. But kind of clean funk. There's a sandalwoody, irisy note, which 
I find kind of I get in the beginning and then it dips and it comes back but at this stage I do I, I do get a bit of that kind of oh god yeah it's, it's already it's getting a slight for me a slight um, a slight curried aspect like a little I don't know a little turmeric or something there's um so what's interesting is when I was wore this I I really really enjoyed this oh. one when I wore it on skin and there were lots of things I found familiar about it there were just a few notes in it which um which I didn't kind of recognise, mm. um, and, and and that's because there are there are a few um, uh, things in here which I don't recognise. Cadam and pandanus flower. So, um, never saw that. And I and I felt you know that it feels like classic French, but there's just something which steers it away from that. Something I'm not quite. quite it's more. Familiar. It's more exotic, isn't it? Yeah. It's 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 it sort of has this like green floral thing but then it it just lurking behind it there's yeah there's like i guess the kind of thing print might go for as well yeah that classic approach but then with the but ingredients then something, which, of, something which draws more it away from what, what, what we expect um it's like powderiness coming through on well here that's now. what i think there's an irisy powderiness yeah which which as i said i think i get the irisy powderiness at the beginning and then it goes much more green and then later i'll, I'll talk about the, the, the dry down it's like a slightly greener slightly dirtier amouage gold uh, yeah, it's not got that aldehyde quality. No, um, but yeah, I, I kind of yeah, I, 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 I yeah, I know what you mean. Um, mm, I really like so it. So, as it, um, I felt uh, five minutes in, as I've written down here, I felt it actually, it, the initial feeling, mm. which was heavy and thick and sheepery, felt like there was suddenly much more space, and it actually uh -huh. became it began to feel a little bit more modern. You know, in in a kind of more modern French perfumery, there's a kind of feeling of kind of, kind of lightness and, and space and kind of and, and airiness. Um, the I green, can get that. the green felt more uplifting, and there was this, this this these interesting green herbal aspects, which were not quite familiar, which gave um, a lightness and brightness and almost a a bit of fruitiness. Yeah, I, I get like a, I, like a weird weird thing uh, that I'm sure doesn't exist, but I get like a weird like apple ink. Like well, if you could buy a green ink that was like an yeah, apple, so very apple flavour. Yeah, I think with the minerality of it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. He lists what he lists: black currant. Ah, and I and I th I think that's kind of that that, that apple ink. I think that's kind of what you're talking about. There's a kind of like damascone kind of like yeah. like like um, like kind of fruity kind of chewiness. Mm. Um, I really like that a lot, actually. It was. Um, as I said, I've put on my notes a few times, and I felt this about the kind of like five to 10, 15 minute mark. It felt it's interesting. It, it feels quite different to most Arige fragrances. It feels. Um, uh, I didn't feel there were things jumping out. It felt very mm. oh, okay. polished and re refined. You know, often we expect with Arige fragrances to be kind of like, like hit by them. Yeah. Um, um, the, I mean, this is yeah. This is very very well rounded. It's very elegant. Twenty minutes in, I felt it was very rounded. That irisy, slight powderiness, which you're still getting at the moment, really felt uh, like it started to reside, and it was much more about bergamot with kind of her herbal green notes and mm. a slight kind of like sheep quality. Um, and I really felt it really. I I did think it felt quite modern. Almost there was a slight modern white musk quality, mm. which was just rounding up the edges and making it feel. Um, this is definitely modern to my nose. Yeah. Des I mean, despite the initial classical nod, yeah, this is a modern perfume. It has it has energy to it that I think, but also lightness and space, yeah, which you'd expect from you know I don't know if these things are, but but from the inclusion of hedione and modern musks would give that feeling of space and polish, yeah. Um, and I don't know if they are in here, but that but that's that's um, yeah, it doesn't feel especially dense or thick, no. And it was like I was clarity. I have to, to say, when I the few times I wore it, do you want to smell it again on my mm. skin? I loved wearing it. I thought <sighs> much more spicy on your skin than on yeah, here. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot to it, and I really thought, mm. you know, I just god. wearing. It, I thought, oh my god, I can see myself. I would love to get a bottle of this and wear it and wear it and wear it. Yeah. So this is this is 190 dollars. So it's quite it's good. It's it's not you know that's 50 ml EP. So it's it's not kind of kind of a, a, me a mega bucks. So let's skip forwards two hours in mm. i got a there was an interesting kind of syrupy iris quality that, that, that started mm -hmm. to appear um and it's you won't get that at all at the beginning but it, it reminded me of musk love 
Ah. And I actually, I then a few days later, wore musk glove to kind of remind myself. Um, but that's, uh, it was interesting at that two hour stage that that kind of syrupy, irisy quality came in because from the start here, what I was hoping for was a kind of bitter, oak mossy, maybe cedary, patchouli base. You know, yeah. It's basically quite a classic sheep base with kind of um, bitterness and edge and body. Yeah. That's kind of what I was hoping for and what I was expecting. But um, two hours and then I've gone three to four hours. Um, it didn't turn out that way. It was definitely closer to the musk lave dry down, but without so much mm. of, of the musk. It was this kind oh, okay. of syrupy um, iris. And it just, um, it was difficult because I loved, I loved uh, the first couple of hours of this. Really mm. loved, really loved. Like I thought like, gonna have to buy a bottle. I can picture myself loving the first few um, hours of this, at least. But it was just, I was just a little bit disappointed by the dry down. I wanted, it felt like it went to this kind of like um, slightly syrupy, irisy, soft without being overtly musky or funky. I just wanted a bit more bitterness and... I mean, I have to say from smelling this, even now on card, and the, and the fact that it's slightly spicier on there, I would be happy for this to have more of a perfume aroma approach of just yeah. the longevity yeah, the of the good yeah, bits. Yeah, yeah. Or the longevity of the bits that we yeah. like. I, I mean, I don't, I, just, I don't know if that's possible, really, because they are quite bright and green and, and, and energetic. It's a shame because mm, I, it's I, really it's good. Though. By, it's, it's, it is really good. Right. Mm, I have to say, I'm a big, big, big yeah. fan of I, it. I, I, yeah, I really. I've not written down the names of these, but I'll, remember, I'll put them in the order that we do. Right. That's fine. Most expensive one. Yes. Go on. You need to. Try, I'll put this on your skin. Give me some flesh. Beauty and the Beast. I'm so, definitely, I'm definitely the beast. As, 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 uh, so am I. Um, uh, 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 as the name suggests. There we go. Let's go. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> I don't name, even need to smell my yeah, arm there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you know, the first thing I thought of though, I have to say, without anything, was Russian Oud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. I mean, that, and that's definitely what you what you're going to think. So, beauty in the feast, beast uh, refers to rose and oud. I mean, and and this is so this. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> and this this is what I mean. You know, when I said like oh. we, we haven't smelt stuff like this for a little while, it kind of makes me recoil in a combination of like orgasmic delight and horror <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Um, so this is oh. this is thirty percent oud. Which is a, 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 a quite a lot. gargantuan percentage. I mean, so I will just say, so this is three hundred and ninety dollars for an EDP, which which is a lot of money. But uh, so the, wow. I mean, the, the, the first the first spray is um, spectacular. Yeah, that is spectacular. It really is spectacular. Um, it's it's just this big. You you are getting rose, but it's this this this, this ooh, just funky and rich oh. and round and chocolatey. Um, and yeah, I definitely get um, a relation, to, uh, you know, I say, I, we hadn't talked oh. about this before and the first thing Joe said w w was Russian Oud and I, and, and, I, and I thought the same. There's a really lovely kind of chocolatey t mm. to it. Um, and fizzy, it's like big fizzy It's just, it's just alive, it, it really is. I mean, it really, if you're someone oh who has only God. ever smelt, you know, a synthetic Oud, um, or an, an Oud Accords, no matter how, I mean, this is just, I wish everyone could smell it. It's, it's right a completely now. different level. Yeah. And it's, you know, it is, <laughs> you can see you kind of Joe's first reaction to spank, but... It's like, in, it's indescribably beautiful and filthy and dirty at the same time. But it's, it's like, like, it's like a, a great whiskey, which is kind of challenging and bold, but like there's a huge complexity yeah. and richness. Oh. I have to say though, I mean, it's the most expensive of this collection. But in a, in a, not quite the same thing, but in something that is sort of trying to do similar things, I would say The Night by Frederick Mao, which is like eight, nine hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take this any day, yeah, I have yeah. to say. on Because it, it has the beauty of the rose. Like, yeah. The funk is there, but the other, you know, that was all funk for me. I would also say this is, um, you know, uh, I will talk through oh. the development because the, the development for this is um, cons like really... Uh, considerable um and, and you we're not going to get it has to be it. doesn't it it has to be for something this big 
So eventually, I mean, it's it's quite, uh, there's a bit of rose at the beginning, but it's really quite dominant, uh, dominated by the oud. But I would say for the most experience, the, it is actually the kind of, uh, the kind of rose. Um, the, you get this kind of funk straight away, and I felt this funk turns almost a little bit medicinal. It, I kind of get this, um, this kind of twang, almost metallic twang to the kind of funkiness of the oud. Mm. 30 minutes in, it doesn't feel like it has the thick roundness of Russian oud, which I think you're getting at the moment. They're still a bit funky, but I felt like the, the metallic kind of twanginess almost leveled it out a little bit. Uh -huh. Almost kind of like shaved through and cut through and, and sawed off um, um, uh, some of, the, some of the, the round edges. Um, and it's weird the way that the rose became more prominent, it almost became a bit rose oxide a bit metallic. Um, and it kind of the plush roundness I really felt mm. became quite searing around. I would like I would want the rose to win of the combination of the rose and the the funky mm. oud. I would I would want the rose to kind of bloom. I think I think it does, but I think it's a long it's 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 a long journey. I think at the one hour point it feels more like rose, and when the, then and I really was started to remind it of another Arige fragrance, which is Malakal Taif. Mm. So the, the which is forty percent rose, isn't it? Which is a huge amount of rose. Um, so, so that uh, came in, oh, and especially beautiful. I found it whenever we test these, you know, on these videos, we're going da da da, sniffing like that. But where, when I wore it on skin, I was walking around, and I, I found that especially around the kind of hour to two hour point, when I just had my arms like this, like a normal human being, what I was getting in the air was rose more than oud, and it was only when I kind of like I I, I dived in like that when I was getting uh, uh, the oud. Um, and already at that point, I felt the beauty was starting to overtake the, the, the beast. And the chocolatiness had almost um, completely gone. Mm. Around two hours, I got a kind of inky fountain penny quality to the rose. Ah. Do you know what I mean? Like almost like a permanent marker, um, which had a kind of a quite like plushness. And I felt was turning from that rose ox oxidey metallic rose to something a bit um, plumper and fuller. But um, I'd lost all, all of the funk of the oud had gone completely. Yeah. And it really was much more um, rose uh, dominant. And in a way, I found this, this middle section, about one hour to three and a half hours, the kind of um, the least um, enjoyable. I felt it went a little bit flat and lost some of the wow section. But there's, an, uh, there's an, uh, more to come. Three hours in, I felt, um, uh, yeah, the rose almost became a bit prickly and sharp and edgy. Mm. And then there was a bit more woodiness, but it felt like burnt wood. It felt almost uh -huh. like incense. All of that initial funk and chocolatey round plushness of the oud had gone. Um, and it was a bit, um, uh, yeah, like burnt wood, like like dry uh, cinder, uh, cinders. But... Then four hours to about 12 hours, I got the kind of last dry down section um, where there was, uh, I just felt that the, the, the rose lost all its prickliness and it became soft and round. The, the oud lost its metallic, metallic um, qualities and its incense qualities and was just a soft warmth. There was a bit of vanilla which just kind of added a kind of sweetness, but mm. it just became this very sensual, round, plush thing. And that was, as I said, that was the, that was the four to 12 hour mark. You get this, you get this first, I thought, you got this first half hour mark, which is what we're in now, which is very, yeah. very well. Then we kind of got this half an hour to 30, to half an hour to three, three and a half hours, which became a bit hard edged. Yeah. But then it, it resided to this plushness. But um, I mean, I, yeah, that's, for me, that's the period that I that I'm most interested in, really, because mm. you know, the four you said like the four to twelve hours. Of course, that's like later stage dry down. But the time when you really experience the perfume is when you first put it on, and those first few hours mm. afterwards, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I mean, I have to say, from from that, I would I would be very very excited to see, and I'm I'm going to smell that in a few hours' time and see what's going on. It's I mean. At the moment, it's like, wow, wow, wow. We've got to move on because we'll, we'll spend the whole day talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I have to say, looking back, I'm, I'm just not so fussed at all about the first thing we tried. No, but then I mean, it's, it's interesting. No, it's, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a, a very different beast. Yeah. 
That doesn't excite me. This excites so, me. But this that, excites the hell out of me. Can you smell how irisy that's already starting oh, to see, smell? See, that's really beautiful. Yeah. That's really, really beautiful. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's move on to now. Do you want to go back to oh. my flesh for Gulhina? Yes. Well, Gul... Gulhina, which is, uh, refers to henna, I think. Do you want to go there? Yeah. Where's the, is that the thing? That is the thing. So here we are. Gulhina. A modern, fresh and floral take on the most gorgeous yet misunderstood of Indian attars, uh, Indian attars called yeah. Mahindi attar that is focused on white henna flower. I know someone called Henna who I love dearly. The singer. She's very wonderful. Good. Does she smell like that? No. <laughs> Henna. <laughs> um, oh. We're a very different world. But this is, wow, again, wow, wow. again it's, it's, it's a spectacular um, kaleidoscopic opening of florals and citrus. Also, takes me back to, like, 1998. God knows why. I have no idea. But <laughs> That's it takes me back. That's really interesting. That takes me back to that sort of slightly sort of fruity cherry Yoji Yamamoto well that's that's Chiruti 1881 it, it's interesting it felt it feels like oh, there's um, wow. this is a, a more natural take on something which is quite familiar yeah oh I have to say that's really really good isn't it like it's really wow. it's just bright do you not get lots of just chinks of light and colour yeah it's, it's like a big kaleidoscopic thing and it's it's fun it's like a much, much better quality version of all of these things that I have a, a recollection of back in the day. And it's somehow like... What's, what's it? It's called, it uh, called? Gulhina. So this is $160. Again, really reasonably priced. Um, I mean, there's quite a lot of... Um, when I first wore oh, this, I wore this gorgeous. after the, 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 the Mitty Attar, and it felt like the opposite. If the Mitty Attar, you were talking about dank basements, yeah. think, this is the opposite. This is bright, you know, flowers mm. and jungles. Very friendly, very but approachable. The, but the, yes, exactly. I think there's something, there is, it's very friendly, very approachable, very wearable. And again, it's, it, I think this feels quite modern for an Arige fragrance. Yeah, absolutely. This feels like it has, it has the end consumer in mind in terms of this, wanting I mean, to have something a little bit more mass you're, appealing. This, 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 is, this is not your challenging, it's, you know, it's, it's not like Beauty and the Beast where if, you, if you've never tried Oud before, you're going to struggle. This is, nor is it in a classic French style. This feels like modern uh, perfumery. Oh, but the quality is so good. The quality is beautiful. There's a, do you get a lovely green, like, vininess as well? I get, yeah, it's, it's very, yeah. I really get this kind of um, full picture of jasmine. There's a kind of sweet, chewy jas jasmine, a light floral jasmine, and also kind of a jasmine vine. I get a, I get a sort of jasmine, and I get a little bit of um, a slight bigger odd, bit of orange blossom. Pettigrainy, kind of like oily yeah. twigginess, yeah. Where's you? Where? Where have you got? Is it me? No, it's here. No, but whenever I waft my arms around, <laughs> the rose is so <laughs> massive. I, yeah, it, it occasionally just blocks me. Oh God, that to me smells something, something more like what Bortnikov might be. Oh yes, doing. where have I written that? I've written that somewhere. Yeah, I've written that a few times. It, it feels yeah. Th th there is it has that kind of like citrusy floral wowness that you get yeah. with Warnikov. Um, uh, two oh, hours in, so beautiful. I've said it becomes less interesting, and for me, this became too oh, really? sweet at the two hour points. So it became jasminey, yes, but it just became a bit too sweet. I wanted some indolic quality to the jasmine. I wanted more. A kind of bitter floral yeah. complexity something to happen something and around happen. the two point it just it became a little sickly in the way that you know i find so many modern fragrances a bit too sweet and sickly um the, the opening is so good but around around the three hour point there was something which i think crops up in this collection a few times which is a kind of musky sandalwoody base um which uh it steers it away from smelling like a modern fragrance. Mm. So it, it's got this great opening, which you're hearing us describe. Got like a small, still smell the beauty in the beast. It's <laughs> massive. <laughs> um, uh, then I, I found around kind of two wow. to three hours, it became a bit too sweet. And then around three hours on almonds, I got a little bit more of an interesting base, which felt like there was, it didn't go into a, a you know, a, a, a kind of, um, you know, a generic like woody amber, like white musk dry down that you'd expect in a more modern fragrance. It was more interesting than that. Um, 
but uh, yeah, but it was, it was an interesting, like the last one, um, like Beauty and the Beast, even though they're very different fragrances, I, I feel I most enjoyed the opening of the mm. dry down. The, the middle was not um, so great. I should also say, I, I think at about, I've written about four and a half, five hours, it was almost gone. It went really, really, really close and there, was, and there was not much left. So I tell you what though, that's as a, as a sort of raw first smell, I love that. I really like that. Yeah. But yeah, it has to, the, the, you want it to do something though, don't you? There's got to be in, in that immediate few hours afterwards, there has to be something that Yeah. Right, we must keeps go on. We must go on. We are, how long are we? 35 minutes. Fine, easy. And when we're, oh, no, sure, we can but keep this again. is So this is Ghoul Hina. Do you want, right, another expensive one coming up. Uh, the next one is Amber de Coco. Do you want to read about that? Amber de Coco. Most popular. Ah, so that's interesting. I mean, I mean, read out loud. <laughs> so so yes, the most popular <laughs> complex and in intense. What's happening here? Here. Yeah, maybe on the hand. Yeah. The most popular complex and intense and Indian attar, known as Amber Shamama, Shamama, transformed into a modern, sophisticated, spicy sandal and oud shipra perfume composition. So I'm expecting a few things from that straight away. Okay, now this is my favourite thing in the world. <laughs> this, I'm, just, I'm just, this is how easy I am, but that is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I Bam. said spicy, I spicy, spicy. Another peach. amazing opening. It's just this. Um, oh, I want to drink that. Uh, yes, it doesn't. Doesn't it feel like it's like some? It's just this oh. melange of like spice and wood with some fruitiness. God. Complex, deep oudiness. Does it not make you feel like? Cocktail. So I've it's slightly cocktail. emotional when you smell these. Well, that's what I did say. The I, I, beauty <laughs> of them. You know, the yeah, I told you you were going to enjoy this. <laughs> oh, it just it makes me it makes me think anything I say is kind of redundant because I can't explain what this smells like apart <laughs> from how I react. But I think Ottoman it, Empire. Bit of a nod. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I had a bit of. But a I think you're right when you say drink because it does feel like a cocktail. Some kind of deep dark. Uh, like oh. slightly fruity, but quite oh. spiced, almost like a dark and stormy. Yeah. You know, you know, that kind of thing. But just you wait, because God. what's a coming? See if you get this. Oh. I think there's, there's, there's another world in there. Um, yeah. I'll see how long until, 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 it, until it creeps up on you. Um, but um, what, what, what your initial um, Smell, I feel, starts to, to go into a slightly different world almost entirely. Um, oh, but I, I, I mean, I, that would be great, but also I wouldn't mind if it stayed in this world forever. Yeah, well, yeah. That's but so stunning. I agree, but I don't think it does. There's, it's, there's that real sort of bitter, spicy edge. Yeah. But it's not, it, it's kind of beautiful spice that invites you in. It's, you know, sometimes mm. things can be quite acrid and you know, you can have that slight sort of ah, bit too well, I get, I get punchy or the cumin kind of or something. Like that's almost, like, it's warm I'm and round. I'm imagining like um, peppercorns, like fermented peppercorns, if that makes sense. Mm. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Or like peppercorns in some that have been soaked in vinegar or, or something like that. They're on the turn and they don't yeah. have the freshness, but they still have all the or, or body. Or like you sometimes get, you know, with coffee, with, with, with that kind of coffee where it's natural process, where it's got that kind of funk and almost acidic fermented quality. Yeah. So, wow. there, and there's a bit of chocolatiness wow. at the outset, but I, I, don't, I can't remember how long it will take, but what may surprise you is what comes next, which is a peach sheep revive. Yeah. So I don't know if you you get that yet, but what that that's what's that's what's coming. So it's still that quite classic nod as well. I mean, of course, if you're well, if you're making a, a big huge sheep like that, you you can't avoid. Well, yeah, yes, a yes, a classic nod, but um, not what you expect from the, the first. I, I when I you know I thought like kind of like spice markets and and, and deep dark woods and yes maybe cocktails, God. but not French sheep Whereas I started to get after a while. Um, this real peach sheep, and I've written 40 minutes in, I get this, I got a real relation to another, um, I said at the beginning that there's a few oh, um, other reach fragrances which are gonna be referencing, and the one I get around 45 minutes was antiquity. antiquity. Yeah. I can see that going in that direction for sure. 
And, uh, and it's weird, uh, that, that, uh, the, the 45 mm. minute mark, I felt actually a lot of this spice, which you're getting in a big way now, really receded. Um, but it's already softening, it's softening into yeah. something quite... Um, yeah, I think you're getting, you're starting, round and elegant you're getting already. fruitiness already. I yeah. think you're starting to get kind of fruitiness. It segues nicely mm. from the kind of oody woody spice to, to, the, to the fruit. But I was just surprised how quickly it oh, went, gosh. especially I think because of the name, uh, what is the name, Amber de Coco, I expected it to go in this sticky resinous. Yeah, I don't get the cocoa thing. It's so gone much. in a peach sheep row, um way. And I, I think it's tricky because um, it went increasingly like that. Wow. Um, and uh, I think it's, is there an Indian, is it Indian oud? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, Indian oud. And we're not quite getting as much of that funkiness that we would expect of an Indian no. oud, i.e. that we got in Beauty yeah. and the Beast or, you know, that we certainly got a big dose of in, in, in Russian oud. So that's very beautiful, but it is now going into a quite conventional yep. rose yep. type yep. territory. As I said, it's if you expected Russian oud, that's not what it is. It's interesting, isn't it? Because what I got up front with that was this depth and in fact i'd expect it to get more depth as it no, dries down rather than have it as a top this kind of metallic it's almost topsy-turvy. like it's like it's cut it, it's slimmed down and it yeah. becomes more like sheer rose and there's a kind of metallic i really feel like as i said all mm. the kind of plushness has been trimmed down that's very interesting but so now i mean let me smell the amber de cocoa on you i love that i have to say but do you not feel it's, it's already becoming quite this is you no know, very short time on skin, but it's already become a lot of that that, that wow spice has receded. Um, I really did not get much amber and cocoa at much no no uh, stage. I also didn't get much a huge amount of ooze really. Um, I, it, it really developed into this really attractive um, sheepra, which felt incredibly nostalgic, and I felt there was it a kind of a soft a soft not soft a soft powdery kind of nitro musky vintage musky. Mm. Um, feel to it um, absolutely one hour in there was some ang- amber the amber did start to appear uh, most of the oud and spice are gone but still no cocoa not really any cocoa at all at any stage um, five hours in very close uh, it's, it, despite your initial smell this is not a big fragrance it does sit, qu- sit quite close it's interesting that the um, the fruitiness does actually linger quite quite a lot, um, but the but the oud and spice doesn't quite so much, um, and I and I certainly uh, uh, yeah I didn't really get much amber and cocoa. Um, it's a difficult one because the opening of this is so good, but the tr- like the dry yeah. down is not as good as antiquity, and it's and for me the dry down is not as good as the notes list or the opening suggests. Yeah. Um, that would be disappointing, wouldn't it, to have that amazing opening? And then I mean, I've, like I've said, it's like very exciting opening. You know, I, I had the same reaction as you. So I'm glad I got, to, I got to wore this. I got to wore this. I got to wear it. It is really beautiful. If it was, you know, if, if I had, if it was a kind of, you know, if I, if I were in a shop and tried this, I think I would have bought this. Yeah. Because the mean, opening... It's still, it's still very beautiful. Oh, yeah, I it's mean, great, great, yeah. We're, you know, we're talking at the very highest levels here so even the the dry down on this compared to many other things yeah is going to be a spectacular world apart right wow wow, wow. we must move on we must move on uh my saw in Chenza. so this is 290 dollars it's another um uh pretty expensive one do you want to put it do you want to do my arm yes i don't think i've got much flesh left because um i reckon i've got two plates do you want to do my elbow da, 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 da. so as the name, oh, you can go, get a bit more kind of fleshy. Otherwise, you get um, so. Oh, hello. Yeah, something a bit different. Quite a different world from the last one, I think. That's why I said I. I have to say I loved mm. the experience of trying these. Yeah, I mean they're they're all very different. It's such they? it's such an amazing journey. I would never think this was our age. No, to smell. It's fizzy. It's bright. It's light. It's energetic. You know, you oh, see, it's my fun, yeah, it's it, 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 like you think you think sandalwood and incense. You think maybe it's something very serious and creamy, and whereas I get aldehydes. Wow, you don't get aldehydes? Yeah, it, it, it reminds me a little, a tiny bit 
of the, the opening to Sacred Scarab. You know that it was very bright and fizzy. Oh, I don't I don't remember Sacred Scarab enough to get that. But but actually even more so, it's so aldehydic and bright and light and citrusy. I get that it's not the same smell, but I get the same reaction I get to smelling Timbuktu. The, yes, yeah, the yeah, combination yeah, 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 of the, yeah, yeah. the slight dark and light, fruity, incensey. But but definitely bright, uplifting. Yeah, very but very beautiful. Immediately beautiful. Yeah. Do you, get, do you get a slight orisiness with the opening? Smell it, smell it on my skin as well. Um, I or get not. more of a kind of a slight treacle toffee thing, or just like a hint of something slightly sweet, caramelly. A little, but but I don't think it goes. It doesn't go quite. It's not like ambery toffee richness. No, it's quite lean. Yes, it definitely is lean, and uh, you know, and it's. Um, it's so different to what we've just tried, isn't it? It's very pretty, though. Like a very, very kind of like arresting green. Not herbaceous for me, but just green. Yep. Yeah, yeah, stemminess. Green jelly bean. Mm. Walt Disney. I think there is a kind of pretty. slight stemminess. You know, like yeah. the, the, the green stem of flower. Um, again, I've. Sort I've, of I've watery as well. This, not weak in any way, but yeah. there's a sort of wateriness, like a. Transparency? Yeah. Not what you expect from this house. No, God. I would never place that for, for this house. Um, two hours in, I found I got a soft, powdery sweetness um, with a bit of kind of rose and jasmine. And I, and I had a slight... It made me think of Ensemble mm. Mythique a little bit by Guillaume. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that kind of like incense... Like, it's not quite as rosy as Ensemble Mythique, but just that, like, that feeling of space and lightness yeah. you get. Um, there is loads of space around this, isn't there? Mm. It's um, there's a weirdly kind of slightly spiritual, not kind of spirit light spiritual, uh, not not that kind of a heavy temply spiritual, but I think more of a light, yeah, spacious. Um, it's interesting that some of these EDPs have really I, I feel captured the feeling of space. Yeah, well, it's it's interesting, isn't it? Because it's um, it's got all the richness I would expect to have an an EDP. But it also feels a little bit like holistic, a little bit um, aromatherapy. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, 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 There's yeah. something in that world. Yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah, quite meditative. Um, well, at, at two hours, I wrote down that the sandalwood never becomes dominant, um, but. Actually, then at five to six hours, I did feel that there was a slightly creamy kind of lactonic sandalwoody uh, quality when it started to kind of uh, come to the, 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 the fore and, um, and added a, a real kind of good deep bass mm. um, under this. And I've written, even 12 hours later, I felt I was getting this creamy thickness of sandalwood. Um, which is a long way I'm from, looking forward to that from, the, from the fizzy bright opening. Yeah, um, it's weird. I I feel this this fragrance doesn't really have any mid. Yeah, I can imagine that. We, we kind of went to, to fizz, and then a, a, the, the middle section. I was like, like, mm, yeah, um, that, that's fine. But actually, when he got to the mid, there was this nice kind of thicker sandalwoody base. Um, I'm getting I'm getting very, some really beautiful. Oh, it's really good. Mm. I'm getting some really beautiful little neroli, uh, okamasi vibes. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. I mean, it's definitely... I can't remember what he lists, but... Um, where is he? Da, 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 da. I mean, sort of like green tobacco. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe it's just, the, you know, the, the complexity of, of this, you know, like frankincense, like olibanum does have lots of citrusy qualities. It has cedary qualities. Mm. And the same with kind of sandalwood has kind of creamy, can have animalic qualities, can have lots of different things. Um, it's, I mean, it's really full, actually. The There's, more I smell it, the more there is, uh, the more there is to find. It's, it's, um, this, I, uh, again, it, 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 it doesn't feel typically a reeves that it, it really kind of draws you in and there's a kind of a subtlety and a, almost a kind of, a, you know, confident deafness of touch. Mm. That it's not like, yeah. it's not like wham, bam, Absolutely. rose oud. There's just, there's something kind of humming away. Oh. I think it's, um. Really beautiful, actually. Uh. This was quite, as I said, I didn't love the kind of middle section, but especially the dry down, I found very um, rewarding. I love a dry down where something comes back to life. 
Yes. Yeah. Well, he, he does come back to in life, way. but it, but in a slightly kind of um, uh, different way. Right. Mm. I think we're on our last one. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, we're on our last one. This is emotional. Malik. That's a. Uh, I mean, that's a great little collection, emotion. isn't it? Right. Uh, have you got any flesh left? Do you think? Yes. Do you need to take your trousers off? The rose. I mean, the rose is so big. Because I'm actually wearing a perfume as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, I reckon in, on the inside there will will do well. It's far enough away from the first one. I mean, this is another. Malik Al Moshe. So this oh, is an expensive oh, oh. one, two sixty dollars. And I've, I've said again, wow, 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 yeah. wow, wow. Very, very vintage. Very, very classical. Thick, rich florals, like the, really the, the thick. thickest. Mm. Like, yes, you're right, you could chew through those petals. Super Gosh. heavy, super dense, super complex, super rich. Bit of indolic twang, bit of yeah. medicinal twang. Yeah. Bit of like, there's a bit of an edge through all that, that rush, uh, oh. plush thickness. Wow, it's syrupy. Yeah, I also get, now, disagree with me, hint of root beer, hint of cough syrup, but in a good way. Get that? Yeah, I can see. I can. I don't. I don't know about the root beer necessarily, but I cough syrup. Yeah, a nice cough syrup, but the one that a kid might enjoy having rather than something that's like yeah. That. But it's 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 um super thick, super rich, with I think a little bit of medicinal <sighs> kind of twang to there. There's definitely there's definitely something a little smoked that I'm getting as well. Mm, a little like trail of something. Friendly, approachable, I would say. I don't, I don't yeah, get that, yeah, vi that vibe I get sometimes with white florals of funerals. Yeah, in yeah. Crematoriums. There's, um, th there, there is a kind of subtle incensiness. He lists a couple of ouds, and maybe that's the, the kind of like incensiness we're kind of, ah. get, we're, we're kind of getting. I also, again, this Stunning. quality which I'm getting a few of these. I get this slight stem quality. Yeah. Like a green stem quality. I'm um, definitely on skin. I got it more, and actually. I found like about 20 minutes to kind of 45 minutes, I got quite a lot of that stem. And it reminded me of, you remember Saskia by Grandiflorum, mm. which we tried and was one of the winners from Art and Old Fashion, I do. which really tried to capture the whole image of a florist, including quite a big sense of stem. That, I mean, that is really, really beautiful though. It's really lush, it's really... I love that. I, can, I'm, I, I, I can always just, think I'm not a white florals person. But I, I'm I smell thinking... I think, yeah, I totally am. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like palatial Indian gardens, yeah, you know, Taj Mahal, like... If you could have I mean, these white florals with this, that slight like curried spice mm. of whichever one it was, I can't remember. Oh, it's more that, yeah. That's real Yeah, cheap if you could have a it? bit of that and a bit of that. Mm. Well, I guess you can, you buy the whole set and <laughs> layer. <laughs> yeah. is, that what, is that what we're meant to do? But uh, 30 minutes in, uh, mm. it goes, again, quite sweet. There's a dense, musky sweetness. Not necessarily, I didn't feel it went dirty, funky. It almost felt, you know, slightly kind of modern white musky. Yeah. This kind of just a nice kind of thick sweetness. Um, and then I started to get uh, this uh, slight uh, musky sandalwood um, accord, which I get for a few. Can't remember if he lists sandalwood in this. Yeah, he does. And benzoin. So maybe it's the combination of sandalwood, benzoin, and some of the ouds, which was getting that slightly musky. Um, uh, sandalwood. Mm. Uh, um, it's getting greener for me. It's getting greener and more tobacco-y. Yeah. yeah, stemmy tobacco. Yeah, I go with tobacco -y. Tobacco flower, mm. as well as uh, yeah. tobacco leaf. It's exciting, actually. Little bit of kind of like roasted spicy instancy quality, which mm. I think is the oud. Um, now, here's the thing. So I've actually kind of specifically written, when I tested this, between the 30 minute mark and the six hour mark, I was really busy. I was like doing stuff. Um, and so I didn't make any notes. I tend to like do voice memos when I'm, when I'm doing this. So I, and I have no entries between 30 minutes and six hours. But between 30 minutes and six hours, I wasn't really aware of wearing it. Okay. Which, you know, and I know I was spraying it on my, on my wrist and it was just two or three sprays. Um, uh, this one I only wore once actually. But you know, the fact that I wasn't 
you know, it didn't. Not normally, if I'm doing something else, I would be aware of it. You know, yeah. as I said with the Beauty and the Beast, uh, uh, I you was doing it, other then. things and I was getting the, the the rose from a distance. This, from the 30 minute to the six hour mark, I didn't get very much at arm's length. It was only returning back after six mm. hours and diving in. I was, I started to get some. So it really was from that 30 minute mark. It was really kind of quite, um, um, quite close this kind of low gentle hum and that's what i got um yeah almost from 30 minutes yeah, on it kind, of, it kind of it kind of like really kind of went down there but i would say the next day even after a shower i could still smell it so it's amazing that i felt this had tremendous longevity you know like almost 24 hours longevity but from the kind of half hour point it went um just close yeah the which is, uh, you know, it, it's difficult because the, the, the mm. opening is, is so wow. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm glad we managed to, or I managed to um, uh, uh, test this on skin um, and get, you know, over a yeah. long period and see what it actually feels like. I, I like it a lot. I have to say, the more I smell it, the more I think there are lots of good big white floral things yeah. in the world. And it's why it's the important. opening was very Irish. It's why it's important to kind of think, you know, that you, you, we don't. And it's interesting for these videos that a, a lot in in the past you've kind of seen our first impressions, and you're still seeing James' first impressions here. But uh, you know, I'm able to give you a little bit more perspective on on the kind of dry down. So mm, it's very beautiful. It's very very beautiful. What do you think? I mean. I have to I say, think it's fantastic. I loved, I loved the experience of buying the sample pack. I'm so pleased that the sample pack was released early, yeah. that you know, we could test them. But and just this experience of wearing these seven perfumes, they, I, it's a real privilege. Isn't there, it? There's a few things which tie them together, but they're really different. Mm. It really feels like a, a good body of work, and I think he's spent you know more than two years on these, and it really um, shows. I mean, I think. It's difficult because one money no object, Beauty and the Beast, hands down, as I said to you um, when we were talking yeah, before, and, yeah. and, and you're not getting the, the, the dry down yet, which I think. No, for I'm, me I'm in a very rose place now, which yeah. I've smelt. Like I can find lots of roses. I, I, and, I, and, I, and as I said, I think nice. it goes. It, it kind of goes like this, and then it kind of picks up, and you're you're in this kind of quite flat, nice but not wowy kind of just smell it on you. Yeah. You, you're real Malakal type um, yeah. uh, uh, vibes, but uh, but I think the kind of the swath, the soft sexiness um, at the end is, is where it's really at. I this is Al, Al Majmur, which which was that kind of like green kind of sheep mm. greenness, really That's elegant. Really I can really see myself wearing it. Yeah, as I said I just I'm, I almost if I was going to buy one, it would almost be Al, Al Majmur, but it's just. The, the, the dry down wasn't quite enough to completely set my heart on fire. Where do you think you are in terms of? I think. I think the one that would pique my interest is the Amber de Coco. Really? Oh, that's interesting. For, just for that real classic. Where is it? Is it there? There. Yeah, and it start and it get, and it gets really. Um, the, I think the, the thing is because I own antiquity. Oh no! Is I think isn't it isn't it here? I've got one yeah. there. That's the Malik, and mm. that arm's destroyed by it. No, um, not the Malik. Um, the Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. So do you need handover? Oh, do, I do, have you got it on your skin? I think it's there. It's this. It's now gone to this kind of peach sheep, bro. It's went on the card. Yeah. Yeah. See how peachy sheep breathe that is. Oh, I love that. See, yeah. that's, that excites me. I mean, to be honest. I have to say, I would happily buy any of these and wear them. Just at the price point, so I'd have to think a bit harder. Well, that, but, that, but I think that's you know that's worth comment, and that and that's why I don't I don't um, I, I I don't I might buy Beauty and the Beast. That's the one I'm leaning towards most. Al Majmur I really liked as well. Yeah, um, I like Malik Al Motor actually. Yeah. I, I liked Amber de Coco, but I think. If you've got antiquity, it's kind of rendered redundant. Yeah. Um, uh, the Mitty, the Mitty, I actually really enjoyed. Like, I, it, like you know, it's pretty much mm. gone now. And, and, and it's, it's it's a different experience. But it's, I don't know. If I saw, you know, it's seventy five dollars. If I saw someone selling it for cheaper, like fifty dollars, you know, second hand, I think I, I think I might go for it just as a kind of a one off experience. Yeah. 
Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it is interesting. I smell it on my arm there, and I think, it, for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be fussed. Compared, I mean, it's there compared to all of the others. Oh yeah, oh, but it, but it's very, it's a very different beast. And, yeah, and that's and it's priced differently. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's, that's it's priced a, differently. That's that's um, a very fair fair reflection, isn't it? Um, I have to say, this is the, the, the my sort of intensa. That the, the that's good. That it's in, in in many ways it's it's more subtle than the others. But I thought there was good development. I'm just a little uh, bit more mainstream somehow as yeah, well. Yeah, a little bit in a, in a good way. I'm someone who's not. I'm not always bowled over by instance, so I don't think that's quite one for me. Um, how do we think? Where mm. so? Where do you think we see kind of Russian Adam at now in terms of his development? In terms of has he, you know, his pricing? He he's managed to resist putting prices up really high, but despite being yeah. a very 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 kind of uh, like popular. Um, I I mean I think. I think he's become more and more elegant and round and classical. Yeah. Each time. I think it's interesting. None of these smell rough around the edges in no, that way, and, and that, which I have liked in some of his uh, poems. Yeah. But so have I. But it's interesting, especially with that Al Majmua, that it, it feels like there's mm. there's there's a real um, kind of sophistication, and there are a few fragrances when we've said um, there's a kind of um, almost like a modern touch, which yeah. I've not felt from a, from a, a Rige before. Um, yeah, it's just um, a little something that brings them into the modern day, isn't there? It's an interesting connection. I, you know, ha, ha, I don't, I don't think there's any. I don't. There's, there's not one which, considering price point, I feel I'm going to jump out and buy. No, no. If I mean, yeah, I would see the the beauty in the beast. I love, but I, it's hard at the moment because I am in that rose phase that's just yeah. quite standard. Like it's a, it's yeah. a good rose, it's but, like, but, but but I think for me, I want to see where that yeah. goes in a few hours. But it's definitely not Russian oud, is it? No, w no. Whereas, you know, like you had my first same, impression. I, was, I thought the same oh, thing. Wow. Oh, like, um, but it's not quite that. Yeah, it's funny that cause something can start with what seems to me like a real bassy depth, hmm. and then the depth is what goes rather yeah. than the top, or that the top reveals itself hmm. behind the cloud of yeah. this massive funky yeah. beast. Anyway. It's, I mean, I have to say, it's a real uh, genius. I think. It's been a real, uh, it's been a real fun journey, and I loved, I loved yeah. trying them. They're they're fantastic. Uh, this is perfume making at the absolute highest level. Hopefully, I will release this because um, the, the, the individual fragrance is not going to general sell. I'll try and edit it as quickly as I can so I can. When do they up. go on? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But they I might have to invest. Yet, it. So I'll, I'll I, would, I would consider buying the whole lot because it seems like actually a really well, fifteen hundred dollars for the whole set. Yeah, it's not bad. Actually. I mean, yeah. it sounds silly, but it's a good library. That's your year sorted with perfume, yeah. isn't it? Anyway, if mm. you've tried them and you kind of disagree with us, it'd also be what I would like to hear is people who know that you know the Indian Natals on which they're based because we haven't really yeah. talked about that at all because we know, don't know we have, we have no knowledge, so I didn't think it'd be um, useful. But um, if you tried them, if you tried the Atars, the original Atars on which they are based, let us or know. if you've uh, tried some of these, let us know. Um, but uh, we always enjoy trying Russian yeah. Adams. He's work. fantastic. I'm a huge fan. Until next time, happy sniffing. Bye.